But so what are the sorts of global challenges that entrepreneurs are wa working towards solving using your program? Yeah, there, there are statistics that I think a lot of us are familiar with. 1.3 1, 1 billion people don't have electricity today. That's actually more people who don't have electricity than when Thomas Edison turned on the first light bulb because of mm -hmm. population growth. There's 770 million people who don't have access to clean drinking water every single morning that they wake up. Um, we're working with companies who look at these problem sets and most of us think they're seemingly intractable. They see market opportunities and they design solutions to profitably solve them. And in terms of the entrepreneurs that you talk to, what, what's the biggest challenge, or what's the biggest mental Rubicon for them to jump is that I want to have a social impact but I want to make money out of it. Hmm. So I think every business in today's world designs solutions to problem sets. It's how we all make money. Right? These entrepreneurs just choose to solve problem sets that most of us think are impossible to solve, but they're doing the same thing that every single business does. And so for them, the solution to the societal challenge is baked into the profit model. Mm. It's just they choose to solve harder problems. So what's the answer then, Daniel, when it comes to automation and robotics and the extent to which automation is going to take uh, many people who are employed doing X, Y, Z job, take them out of the equation in the, in the years ahead? What, is, what yeah. are the kinds of solutions that the businesses you're talking to are coming up with? Yeah, I think, I think the statistics are scary. Right, so there, there's a report by Oxford that says in the U.S., 47% of the jobs that exist today won't exist by 2035. Mm. So it begs the question, where are future jobs going to come from? And, and every report you read, um, the Kauffman Foundation has research that says that nearly all net new jobs are going to be created by entrepreneurs. And so for us, it's going to be across every industry. But what we know for certain is we don't know what those jobs are going to look like. But we know that these entrepreneurs, through this Unreasonable Impact Partnership, they're the beacons of where future industries are moving. And so they are, they are the job creators of tomorrow. Um, but they're different across every single industry. Give us a concept of, of the time frames, the way in which the, the, the CEOs and, and directors actually think in, in terms of short, medium, uh, yeah. and long term. And I suppose the question that some people would ask is, there's a great deal of idealism here versus the reality of economies. And economies yeah. have had a great run. Yeah. And so many companies have the ability to look at these projects now when times are moderately good. But they can, yeah. run, into, they can run into roadblocks, financial roadblocks. So what are the time spans? Yeah, I mean, they're relatively fast. So I'll, I'll give you one example. Uh, so 1.3 billion people don't have access to electricity. Most of those people live on less than $2 a day. Uh, one, one of the entrepreneurs that we work with um, founded a company called D-Light. Uh, they're bringing solar to those communities. Um, today, they're reaching 70 million households. And these are in the hardest to reach markets, mostly across the African continent. But if you look at where trends are going, so if you're going to bet on the future, you know, seven out of 10 of the fastest growing economies, GDPs in the world are on the African continent. And so I think what these entrepreneurs are doing is they're going into markets we don't yet consider to be markets, um, but they absolutely are. They're just ahead of the curve um, with a little bit more of a long-term view, though, to your point. They're not, they're not looking for a quick exit in seven yeah. years. They might be in this game for 12, 15 years, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, you know, a, a billionaire to the entrepreneurs and a reasonable impact is about impacting a billion people's lives. In the process, they'll become billion dollar companies. Uh, but, but that's really the core. And so when that's, that's your vision, it, it's just a little bit more long term. And you're, you've got an event, the World Forum is an event that brings together a, a many of the businesses that you've been working with yeah. in Europe, in Asia and in the US, brings them together to learn from each other. What are the kinds of things that they need to share with each other, the experiences that they, uh, that they like to share? Yeah, you know, I'd say entrepreneurship's hard, no matter, no matter what company you're starting. You know, the statistics on failure, 9 out of 10 of these companies would normally have failed within five years. Right? The average age of companies uh, in this program, they're eight years old. Um, and uh, you know, they're swapping information about how, how do you grow an employee base? What does cross-continental supply chain look like as you're starting to move overseas? Um, how do you raise you know, $150 million round of financing from a sovereign wealth fund? Uh, in a market that it's not used to investing into. Like, they're swapping a lot mm. of, of stories and information between each other. Who's the most engaged with you? We, we, I mean, we cover these kind of stories and we think yeah. automatically, we automatically sort of think it's tech entrepreneurs, it's those mm. perhaps more millennial orientated leaders uh, of industry that are perhaps socially more aware. But give us a complexion of the kind of people you're working with, the scope of people that are, that are actually hungry to work with you. Yeah, I, th I think the important thing, um, and you mentioned it, um, but a reasonable impact was co-founded between our team at a reasonable group and Barclays, one of the largest financial institutions of our time. I, and so we, we work across governments, multinationals, social sector, private sector, I, and the age demographics totally range. We have entrepreneurs who are 25 years old in this program. We have 60-year-old entrepreneurs. 